Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to be making some UV resin jewelry. Now UV resin is a type of resin that is cured with UV light. You don't need to mix it, you use it right out of the bottle and it will come in these black or dark bottles to not allow any UV light in because that's how it cures. It has a basically unlimited work time until UV light hits it and then it cures pretty instantly. So in this video, I'm going to make some necklaces using these trays. Now these are just basically frames. There's no backing to them. And we're gonna add different colorants and different things to them. I'm gonna be doing a couple steampunk ones and then a kind of beachy themed one. So uh, you can add basically anything to them that you could add to normal resin other than alcohol ink but you can add re regular resin dyes. Um, you can add glitter, you can add stones, all kinds of things. All right, so step one, we're going to take some tape and put it on the back of these trays so that nothing leaks out the other side. Now this tape came with these pendants but you can just use regular packing tape. You don't have to use this tape and it's nothing really particularly special. So you're gonna just put it on your pieces and then cut it off. Now very important is make sure that your shapes are fully, fully pushed down. You do not want the resin seeping out underneath here at all. Now that we have these ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and put a very small layer of the UV resin in. And I like to do this because remember that this is cured with UV light. So once you place something on top of here, it will block the light and then this bottom won't fully cure. So I like to start off with a fully cured layer of the UV resin just to make sure that we won't end up with a sticky backing. This is the box that I like to use. It has several timing settings on it and you can actually have it on for up to 30 minutes. So we turn it on, you'll see the light come on there and we're gonna go ahead and just stick these in. Even sitting in front of it like this, it will start to cure. So just be careful with that. And with this light on, you do not want to go ahead with your bottle of resin and do anything else. If you want to do another resin project while this is curing, make sure that you move the light or turn it in another direction. Now for this initial layer, I'm only going to leave this in here for maybe about 30 seconds to a minute. It cures really fast, so we'll be right back. All right, now that we've got our initial layer cured, we're gonna go ahead and get started with our design. So first, I wanna mix up a little bit of this blue dye into some resin. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some in this cup. I don't need a lot, but I'm gonna mix up a little extra to maybe use on another project after this. And so this is maybe two and a half milliliters. And I'm gonna put, hmm, two drops of dye in there. I can always add more. Well, let's go ahead and start off with two drops. I'll go ahead and mix it in. I do want this to be transparent. I do not want this to be opaque or it won't cure well. So you can probably see this is still fairly transparent, but it's the color that I want, so it's perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this on this middle one. I'm gonna add it up to the top here. Don't add too much, you can always move it around. And as always, keep little sticks on hand to help you out. Fill it in, place that where you want to place it. Okay. So I'm not going for exactly like waves and sand on this one and everything. I just want more beachy colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some clear resin in here. And this pendant, or tray is not filled in fully with the resin, just as an FYI. It is really, really important with the resin, with the UV resin, that you do it layer by layer and do not overfill it. All right, these are some iridescent blue flakes. And I'm gonna just put a few of those in here. It does help to have tweezers 
I can't find my right now, so I'm gonna just make it work. And then I think I also wanna use some of these little stones. I really like these. And I'm just dropping these into this clear resin here. Okay, and lastly, I have these really cute gold shells here, and I'm gonna put some of those in as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just place them in, and then I like to move them around with my stick, flip them around as needed. You can use toothpicks, you can use whatever you want, of course. Now, once you're more or less happy with your design here, and it's not, it's not filled in, but it's most of the way filled in, we're gonna go ahead and cure this layer again. So I'm gonna set this in my box, and I'm gonna turn the light away while I work on these other two. Now for these ones, I wanna do some steampunk, and I wanna do kind of similar on both. So I'm gonna use pretty much the same materials, and I'm gonna go ahead and start off with some clear resin. Feel free to move it around to fill it in if you want. I think I will at least fill it in a little bit. And it may seem silly since we already have that bottom layer, but it's just really want to reiterate that you need to cure every single layer with the resin. So even though we already have that other one in, we're going to do another one. Okay. So you can go ahead and pre-place these before actually putting them into the resin if you want, or just kind of wing it, which I think is what I'm gonna do here. And I've got a bunch of different sizes. And some kind of flatter ones here. I also want to add a little bit of glitter in these. And this is a rose gold glitter. It's got chunky and fine in here. And I'm just gonna add just a smidge. Okay, now these are gonna go ahead and go into the box to cure as well. They're still not filled in, but we're gonna go ahead and put this layer in the box. All right, the last thing to do on these is to fill them in fully with the UV resin and that will give us kind of the domed look. Now, if you wanna do any additional layers, you absolutely can, but typically I'll do about three layers of the resin here, and then sometimes I'll do one on the back, dependent upon how my first layer came out. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread this around to make sure that it is completely filled in. Be careful not to go over the side, of your piece. If you do, it's not the end of the world. It actually peels off of the side pretty easily. But you do want to make sure that this is completely filled in. And if it's not, just go ahead and always add more. <laughs> At this stage too, you can take off that back tape, but I like to just wait until my front is completely dry and then do that. Because sometimes the back, if it's not fully cured, it can be a little bit sticky and we don't need that. And now these go back in the box one more time. All right, these are now fully cured. So we're gonna go ahead and take the tape off. Now, if the back is still sticky at all, or if you have air bubbles or anything else wrong with the back, go ahead and cure it. You can add more resin to the back if needed. I always, always stick these under the lamp to cure upside down just to make sure we get that full cure all the way through the piece so i'm going to go ahead and put these under the lamp upside down one more time here and then i will add the chains and everything else and i'll show you the completed project 
Okay, here are our pieces, dry and ready to go. And I love them. Hopefully you guys like them too. So just a couple points of troubleshooting with UV resin. If it for some reason does not fully cure, that can happen because you didn't cure it long enough. Sometimes you may need to cure it for five, 10 minutes or repeatedly, especially if your UV light isn't great. Um, if you're leaving it out in the sun, usually you're gonna leave it out for 30 minutes or so. Another reason that your UV resin may remain sticky and not cure fully is actually that the UV resin itself is old. Now, I found that out the hard way recently, but um, sometimes even a bottle that's just a month old will no longer cure fully. And if you're getting it from Amazon or in a store, you have no idea how long it's been there. <laughs> so just as a tip, if you are curing it for long enough and it's still staying sticky, you probably need new UV resin. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see more UV resin jewelry videos and I'll see you all next time.